Good morning, folks. How are y'all doing? Cub here, and welcome back to our Minecraft Be Happy Let's Play adventure in the wonderful modded world of Minecraft, the Be Happy Mod Pack. I've said it twice now. That's that's how nice it is. So nice you say it twice, like Moto Moto from that second, not quite as good movie about the zoo animals who wanted to go to Madagascar, but they didn't, and then they wanted to go home, but then they were in Africa, and then there was a train station, and they joined a circus. What a weird series of movies. In any case, welcome back. And I've done a bit of work here that I wanted to demo. First off, I have split these chests. I've now got all of my nature items up here and all of my more industrial items are stored down here just to make sorting a bit easier. Also, went ahead and moved the lava fabricator in there because uh, let's face it, we're not using that anymore. We got the one piece of lava we need in here producing us tons of cobblestone without me having to do a darn thing. There we go, exactly 64 stone. Submit. Claim my rewards, give me the wool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but we've got it now. And it looks like we've got a whole plethora of new things. I'm still upset that I don't know what happened to my genetic sampler. Although I'm sure that by the time this has gone out, you folks will have already told me, Hey cub, you dingus, that's what happened to it. And I'll be like, oh yeah. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and choose an industrial apiary because from what I understand, gentistry is sort of the way to go. Well, let's go ahead and we'll read the let's start breeding. And we'll, we'll make our decision based on that. So let's finish this chapter. Have five different species of bees and choose. A, waste energy with apiary 3000. I'm not sure which one of those. I guess that's this one. Or B, don't waste energy, but have an apiary that's old. Your choice. Don't worry. You'll never regret that decision. So this is the big question that we're going to come down to. And I'm going to leave it up to you folks. I'm not going to make the decision here. I've decided to only do two episodes this week because I want to get y'all's feedback on this one because I think it's kind of important. We can go the more traditional route and use the standard apiary that comes with forestry and follow along the old-fashioned road to bees. Or we can use the Gendistry Industrial Apiary and we can take that route. And I'm going to leave that up to you folks. I want you folks to make that decision. So comment down below and let me know. I'm going to get these episodes out and I'm going to read the replies. In any case, I'm going to be... I don't feel like I've learned enough about bees, really. So I'm going to be going through and studying these pretty hardcore myself. So let me know down below which of those you want to see. In the meantime, let's see what else we can do today while we're waiting. It looks like they want us to turn in. We can get some quadruple compressed dirt. I don't know. What do we need that for? Dirt is a crucial item to plant saplings and seeds. Well, how about 6,461 dirt blocks? That's a lot, right? Before giving you that dirt block... Um, it's only one block that contains dirt. Right, got you. I understand. So I can get the... Okay, cool. You need to do some harvesting by yourself to collect 128 oak logs. 128. Well, we've got 30... Or we've got 29. So I don't think that'll be entertaining. I'll probably do that off camera. Next up, we have the option to go to the nether. So as you can see, getting gravel is very hard. But if you look in any eye, you can make it by pulverizing netherrack. So let's jump into the nether quickly. Okay, so we're gonna have to build some obsidian. We have to turn in five obsidian and then it'll give us five obsidian. And I don't know how we're gonna make a portal with five obsidian, but why not? That does mean we're gonna have to get our lava fabricator out again and power it up. So get after it, lava. Wow, we've got so much juice. This will take no time at all. We'll set this to create, stop it. Law. That'll consume our lava like outright when it does it. And that's fine because we've got a bucket here. We'll just go from the lava fabricator back to here. Click. It did consume the lot. Oh, no, it consumes the water? That doesn't seem right. I don't think that that's right. I don't... Shouldn't it consume... Oh, maybe it consumes both. And I just put lava in. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, it's going to consume both. Okay, well, good. I'll just keep burying these back and forth until we get five pieces. That shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. We got the five and good. Just in time. See, we'll have this in no time. Okay. And that should do it. We've got two pieces in there. I did a few extra trips for water because it takes a bit longer to make lava than it does to go get water. So we got some excess. I don't know what we're going to do with that. I do need to replace that though and get it creating cobble again because cobble is super useful. And I want to make sure we get a ton of it. Okay, cool. We'll leave that running. So we've got our five obsidian that we needed for this quest. We'll claim our reward. Do, 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 do. Now, oh, okay, cool. Let us keep the obsidian. Well, great. We want to build this somewhere where we're not going to hear it a lot. Uh, down here, we'll still hear, hear it definitely, so we don't want to do it there. Maybe we can build off to the side here. Where is my super wand? Where is where is that gone? 
aha, there it is, my builder's wand. And I guess we'll use it with just regular cobble since we have quite a bit of that. Whew, stuttering frame rates, oh my. Build off to the side here and then we'll delicately lean over the edge and just keep building until we get a pretty good distance away. The problem with this is going to be monsters. I don't want monsters to spawn up here. We've got a real chance of that happening, but you know what? It's a chance I'm willing to make or take or whatever. So we'll build it. How are we going to do this? We've got 10 pieces, so that's enough for three on either side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right, we'll have to build up the corners ourselves. Should we set it into the ground? Would that would that be good? Should we do that? Let's let's do this. Let's make it first off. I don't know why I'm using the wand for this. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then we'll set it up. I guess we'll go ahead and lay it into the ground. Oh, but what if we need to collect it later because we got to move it? We, it's not like we have any... You know what? Too late. I've started. So we'll use these for the corners. Obviously, we better. See, we only have just enough to make this happen. We, we can't risk... I mean, we can go make more obsidian. Don't get me wrong. We've, we've got the equipment to make more, but I don't want to. Perfect. Should we leave the cobble on the edges? I think so. We've got just the right tool to light it. Booyah. Cool. We'll leave this back behind because we don't need it with us. Where we're going, we don't need roads. You know, unless we want to take a little drive when we get to the nether. But I don't think we're going to want to. All right, here we... You know what? We should probably repair our pick before we go there. We should... We ought to do that, I think. There we go. This is not the right bench to do that in at all. We want to do that over here. This makes infinitely more sense. All right, we've got our stone pickaxe. And we're going to head into an obsidian portal. Here we go. Oh, no! I... Awkward pause during the downloading of the terrain. Awkward pause indeed. Oh, wow, it's a full nether. Oh, I expected it to be like a little nether skyblock, but this is fantastic. We've got an entire nether here. Oh, we could move all of our operations in here and just be like 100% all nether all the time. Well, let's get some things that we might need. So we might need some nether quartz. I'm not sure what we'll need it for, but it might be handy. Wouldn't it be great if it had nether ores in here? That would be fantastic because I really need some iron. So I can, and some diamonds and some gold. I need to start expanding operations up there. It's great that I'm having everything handed to me on a silver platter, but I'm ready to actually do some work myself. Oh, okay, cool. We've got a lot of, uh, it doesn't look like there's any ores here. There's a lot of, oh, hold on. Hold on. What have we got here? Oh, hot dog. Cobalt and iodite. I mean, that's not even a little bit useful for me. I can't even mine them. It, well, oh no, what, what is this though? What is this? Ardite, just more Ardite. Okay, well, it looks like we've got the basic Tinker's Construct doors in here. I don't see any coal or any iron or anything else that might be useful. Just Tinker's Construct stuff, which... Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey, y'all mind if I take some shrooms? How much do y'all care about your shrooms? Hopefully not too much because I'm going to take them. I'll tell you what, I'll leave one because I don't have anywhere to grow them. So hopefully it'll continue to... Uh, Grow and expand here, and you guys will will have that going for you. It sure is choppy here. Boy, is it choppy. The frame rates have just gone totally chop crazy. I don't want to wander off too far because I don't want to lose where I am. But at the same time, this is a lot of exploring we've got to do here. All right. I wonder if there's maybe nearby the sort of place where you could go to find some treasure. If you know where I'm going with this. Okay, I see some glowstone. We're going to grab some glowstone. You know what? That'll be great because we need to light up our overworld a little bit. We're, we don't want monsters to spawn or anything. And I guess glowstone's probably the best way we can go about doing that. Uh, I'm a little upset that there's no nether ores, but I understand at some point we're going to have some other ways to get ores. I assume. I mean, we don't have X in the hillow, so we can't, we can't get them by sifting through sand and whatnot. But hopefully we'll figure out something. And it doesn't seem like the pigmen are going crazy about this, so that's good. We'll just get all of this and we'll take it back. We'll use it sparingly. Just use like a piece or two here or there. And yeah, good deal. Awesome. Get all of this stuff. All right, that's all of it. Make sure I collect all the dust off the ground. And I suppose we're good to go. We've got we got plenty. We got a st exactly a stack and a half. That's plenty to make a few little lights. These little lights of mine. We're going to let them shine all over the overworld and keep the bad guys from spawning in an ideal situation hopefully did i i came from over here didn't i oh look it's a little one oh, he's a cutie we're not gonna mess with him though we don't we don't trust them they're, they're not our kind okay i think the portal's back this way back yes i see it okay good well guys thank y'all for for letting me come over here 
and and take your mushrooms and your glowy lights. And I'm gonna take some more mushrooms actually. And I'll see y'all later. Y'all have all been great. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye now. Bye. Goodbye. Oh man, back to the overworld. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna make probably four of these, and then we're going to cheat slightly. We're gonna tap F7. We're gonna see where we might get monsters spawning. And I know that some people don't like it when I use F7 because it is definitely cheaty. You you should just place down lights down like a crazy person. But you know what? I ah whatever. Good, they can't spawn down here at all. Put one up on that corner. And it looks like once we put one more down, maybe over here. Oh, okay, we'll put this one down here, and then we'll move. Can I move this? I think I can. Or I, it'll just break and go into oblivion. I've broken it. Oh, no, here it is. Good. We'll place it down over here. This metal post, is it just going to be stuck there? I guess so. Well, we're good to go on light now, so we're, we're well lit. And I'll go ahead and turn that off. Tap F7 to deactivate it. Awesome. Well, we got that quest done. Let's see what we're going to do next. Looks like we've accessed ores, uh, lab, lab, labware and samples, but labware and and are like connected, so it's like labwarend, which is a bit odd. If we turn in 256, we can get a lot of blank samples and a lot of genetics labware. Labware is an important item to help mutate bees. Having it will allow you to mutate the bees easier and get the higher tiers sooner. The blank gene samples are used for the gene sampler to get aspects from bees. Okay, so it's going to want a lot of cobblestone. And fortunately, we are getting quite a bit. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Definitely didn't mean to do that. It looks like we used up all of our water... What? What? Okay, well... In terms of weird things I've had happen, that right there was the oddest. We'll get this going again on cobblestone, though. And we'll go ahead and take what we have, and we'll turn that in. And we're already halfway there, and this will just keep going away in the background. So that's pretty good. All right, so we're, we're working toward that one. Temporary... Temporary quest? What is this? I'm sorry, what did it say it was? Temporary quest. It's just temporary. You probably noticed that the three augments are not augments. Exchange them here. This is just temporary until I find out what the problem is. Sorry. Huh. Oh, right. Okay, so I've got to make a short meaty mead bucket, and that will give me augments. I see. So the augments are bugged for some reason. Well, okay, how do I make one? Let's figure that out. Let's see. Aug, aug, augments. If I wanted to create this one, this guy here is really cool. It will allow me to automatically export items. So that's what we need to get things out of our igneous extruder into our chest. You just put that in over here into the short mead bucket. <laughs> what the heck? I see the problem. Okay, so I guess we turn in the augment, uh, the integrated servo to get a mead bucket, and then we put the mead bucket over here, and it should automatically export. That's, that's a little bit strange. That's... <laughs> that's a that's a weird one but it wants me to turn in a mead bucket for an augment okay well we won't oh oh my goodness no well, look it actually has them in there already okay that's weird so this one already has all the augments as is this one as is this one but for some reason this quest does not we'll, we'll turn in those we'll claim our rewards do 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 and then we'll put these guys back in here and I'm not sure if we really need any of them but it looks like yeah, okay, and now we have the ability to configure the side, so we'll deactivate all of these. And then we only want it to output to this side. And so it should, yeah, look at that, start outputting the cobble. Well, fantastic, okay, we got that fixed. <laughs> what a weird quest. I'm glad we got that figured out, though. I'm very glad we got that figured out, and we're even closer to getting our labware. Next up, ores, that's one I'm curious about. Just so you can have some resources, I will give you eight of each ingot that you can get in the game. But you can't use these to make nuggets. That is to help you make extra machines if you want uh, to help you. Okay, so it's not really explaining where we're going to get things, but it wants us to turn in a 32 stone. I mean, this kind of goes against a certain other quest that we have going at the moment, but oh, we're pretty close to having 32 cobble. We'll just go ahead and take 32 cobble and we'll turn it into stone in our furnace. And then we'll have that at least that quest out of the way and then we'll go back to the other quest. A few ores, I guess, will be nice. Let's see, post nether. Did you bring anything interesting from the nether? I have something interesting too. Oh, look at that. Soul sand and a nether wart. If we turn in 64 nether rack. Well, I'm not doing a whole lot else. And I guess a trip to the the, the nether would be fun. But also... Ugh, do I really need those things? Or can't I just wander around and find them? I figure I could just wander around and find them. But you know what? Whatever. We'll, we'll take that. I guess we might go back there. Let's see what other quests we've got. Dusts. 
Redstone and glowstone are really hard to get with bees. Well, I found glowstone. It, it doesn't matter. This quest helps you in the early game by giving you dust so you can relax and do the mutations more calmly. Well, cool. Uh, redstone will be nice. I've got plenty of glowstone from the nether. And you want how much stone for this? Okay, another 32 stone. Well, we're almost there. I've got two stone as it is. And 13 in there. And do, I'm sure I don't have any more gravel. I'm certain I don't have any more gravel. Okay, we got 32 of these. Toss those in there. And then, of course, I've got these two. So, I guess we're set to go. I, I suppose we'll go back to the nether. It doesn't sound like a whole heaping load of fun. But if it wants 64 netherrack, I, I guess we'll go ahead and just go get 64 netherrack. And at some point, we'll have enough to get that quest that gives us some stuff that made all the dirt. Yeah, that's what we're going for, right? Ultimately, we want the quest that gives us all the dirt. Right, I'm not even working toward that one. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Boy, well, that was as straightforward as could be, and that took no time at all. Manual submit, claim our rewards. All right, we've now got some of this and some of this, and we can grow nether wart if we want to. And of course, nether wart has some uses. Uh, we could use it in... Ah! What am I being attacked by? Stop it! Stop it! What are you? Go away! Go away! Stop it! Stop it! Good grief! Oh, cool! What is that? Oh, nice! We got some gunpowder! Let's get out of here before that happens again, because that was not at all an enjoyable experience. We've learned our lesson. Don't try to read books in the nether. Do that in the overworld. Do that in your over... Own... Over... Over world time. That was... Yeah, that was bad. All right, we've got our first bit of stone, 32 stone, and you also want some flint, 16 of it. Have we gotten flint at any point? Oh, I guess that's with the gravel. Okay, cool. Well, we'll pulverize that, and that'll give us some flint, I think. Or what does that give us? That'll give us gravel, and then gravel, if we pulverize that, will give us some flint. I'm going to go get some more netherrack, just to be sure, though, because I'm not. What are the odds that just grinding you up in here real quick will just give me a whole bunch of a single piece of flint? Okay, well, and some sand. I guess that's useful. When this one's done, we'll have to put all of our... There we go. Put all of that back in there. That's going to give us a lot of gravel. And ultimately, we'll get enough, I suppose. Oh, good. We've got our other 32 stone for th this quest. Good. Yeah, so we should have some, some more glowstone and some... Oh, wait. Oh, you also want flint. So there's two quests that want flint. Good. I want to give flint to people. That's that's what I want to do in life. <clears throat> what? Oh no, we've got a situation here, folks. We've got a we've got a we've got a thing. It's here. It's it's followed us. Okay, we might be able to kill it and get something out of it. Let's try it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna build we're gonna build a tool. We're gonna do we're gonna do a tool kind of thing. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this fixed first off. Just you know, because I'm thinking about it. Then we want to build a sword. What kind of sword are we gonna build? Stencils to, uh, stencil to, uh, uh, I haven't thought about this. Okay, we're gonna need a tool rod. Um, and give us a stone tool rod. And I don't know why we're building out of stone, because that's gonna terrorize, like, ter completely destroy the durability. Sword. I want to build, okay, we've got a reaper, a long sword, and a broad sword. I think a reaper is gonna be our best bet, because it's quick. We can just strike a whole bunch. Which one of these is the easiest? Okay, they all require basically the same thing. A sword blade right here. That looks like a sword blade. And then one of these three. I uh, will just go with the medium one. Why not? What have we got to lose? And once again, we'll go ahead and build it. <laughs> because we've got some stone lying around, we'll just build it out of stone. What the heck? Why not? It's our number one resource. So what if it has... Some poor durability. What does that really hurt in the long run? We've got so much of it. Stone long sword. Okay, five attack. Awesome. Charge boost. How does that work? Boom. Awesome. All right, buddy. Where'd you go? Dude? Dude? Where'd you... Dude? Hey. Hey. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, come on now. You know what, we should probably go ahead and build a pattern chest, because we've got a lot of these patterns now, and I'm running out of places to store them, and we've got we've got the materials for it now. I've been wanting to do this since episode one. There we go, our pattern chest. We can place it there, and we can throw all of our patterns in there, and they can be accessed now from our part builder. So we can use those on the go, and we can put all of these in there. Thank goodness. Fantastic. All right, set to go. Do I have any duplicates? I thought for sure I had made a duplicate or something at one point. I guess not. All right, cool. 
got that out of the way. And also, we got Tinker's Weaponry. That's a new book. I don't think I've read that one before. That's pretty useful. We'll throw it into here, because what are we going to do with these books, really? All right, so it looks like we got some sulfur, 63 gravel. We'll put that through there, and hopefully we'll get enough flint to wrap this quest up. You're not doing anything. You're producing a lot of cobblestone, which is exactly what we wanted. And our solar panels are keeping up with flow perfectly. We're Look, they're, all, they're topped out almost. They're, good gravy. Have to have 16 flint for that. And then also 16 flint for this. Good grief. Well, I've got 14. I've got 15. I'm about to have 16, though, so that's a pretty good step in the right direction. There we go. Do -do 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 Redstone and some more glowstone and some sulfur, which did, wasn't part of the quest, but, you know, wh whatever. Oh, right, you were getting cobblestone. I forgot all about that quest. Okay, well, we got tons of cobblestone now. Claim reward. That'll give us a ton of stuff for bees, a ton of blank gene samples, and a ton of lab equipment, some labware. That's good, so that's another quest done. It looks like we've got... I can't finish that one. There's nothing I can do. Productivity is next, but we're going to actually have to get some bees going in order to get that. With these bees, you can now start producing some combs, but it's slow. In this quest, you will get some frames and productivity upgrades. They will increase the probability of getting combs and speciality products. Of course, in order to get those, we have to first uh, choose an apiary, which we haven't yet. I'm letting you folks decide what y'all what y'all want to do there. So, again, we're going to need those comments pretty soon. 16 of these, though. We can go ahead and submit for this quest. Store all of these ores in here until next time. They might come in handy. I don't want to build anything with them too rash. We don't want to waste them. Okay, so last that we can do, last thing we can do now is we can go ahead and do this dirt quest. So if you'll excuse me, I've got an axe and an itchy, itchy uh, tree jacking. That's what we're going to be doing now. We're going to be lumber jacking. See, you'll see how that works. We, we're done. We've done a lot of cobble jacking, but now we're going to be jacking the lumber. I, I'm still concerned people think that that means something that it doesn't mean. Trust me, it, that's what it means. Alrighty, folks. Well, look at that. It only took an entire day and night, but I finally got all the logs that I need. And guess what? For whatever reason, this is now working at night. The watering can before, remember, we couldn't get it to work. I think it was the last episode during the day. Well, it certainly seems to be working now, at least on the trees. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's try it over here. Let's, let's confirm if we should we should see some accelerated growth here. We're at 43%. If I just stand here holding down on this. Huh. Well. Maybe not. Maybe it's because that was... Maybe it's because there is light over here. We got glowstones. There's no glowstones over here. Do y'all think that that is at all... A th Look, I'm curious. So now I've got to see this, this idea through. I've got to find out if this is a thing. We're going to make one more little glowstone. Place it down in this corner here like so. There we go. All right, you guys got plenty of light now. I've got my I've got my little watering can. Grow! Is it because I'm not... what? It was definitely working on the trees. I was using it on the trees and they were growing much faster. Oh, hold on. There we go. There we go. We got some, we got some regrowth. Yes, there we go! You know, it's, I guess it's just as possible that it has nothing to do with light, and it's never had anything to do with light, and I'm just not standing in place long enough. And maybe that's been the issue the whole time. Maybe I'm just not patient enough to use the watering can properly. That's probably it. We're going to go with that. Folks, use your watering can. Use it day. Use it night. Use it any old time you want to. It's probably going to work. I am just a scrub, and life is a nightmare. I'm just a scrub. I know that it's not fair. Okay, we'll put those items in there. We'll put all of these things away down here. And we will finally go ahead and turn in all of these wooden logs for our quadruple compressed dirt. And if I'm not mistaken, all we got to do is do that. And it'll give us nine. And then, yeah, okay. And we just keep doing this, right? But we got to be careful because, boom, you see how much dirt we're going to be getting. We've already got a stack in a bit. We'll go ahead and store this up here for safekeeping. Uh, what I'm going to do this episode, I guess. Oh, oh, that was close. Goodness gracious, that's just a straight drop off there. I go, I wa, I wanna wonga, I wanna wonga. Oh, good grief. Well, first off, I'm gonna do something about that. I think I'll get. I'm gonna create a rim around this thing, using our our half slabs or just our slabs, half block slabs. 
And then I'll probably put some more dirt over here and we come back, we'll do a bit more farming. And hopefully you folks, don't forget, you got to give me an answer on this one. Because in order to progress, well, I mean, we're never going to have finish the basics of bees because we're never going to have the... What do we need to make one of these? A genetic template? Let's check. Genetic... template. Right, we've got the redstone. I think we probably have the tin. Yeah, but we don't have a diamond. And until we get a diamond, we're just SOL. And unless there's a way to make a diamond. And when I say SOL, I mean so out of luck. Again, people tend to get confused. Smelting diamonds, finding diamonds. What? What? what, what how does that make sense? Oh, I guess because it requires one in the juke. Oh, Elven trade. I've never heard of that. That's fascinating. Anyway, <laughs> I need y'all to let me know if we need to go with the Gendistry, uh, Industrial Apiary, and kind of go down that route, or go with the more classic, slower, boring, uh, old Apiary. Let me know. Comment down below, and I'll come back next time. Thank you, folks, for watching. Until then, God bless you. I'll see you later. Bye.